You have release. Okay. You have soulmate. And you have mirroring. Okay. Head energy is nostalgia. Okay. So the hidden energy that you're not seeing is coming up for you in the future. You don't even see this coming. It's that you are thinking a lot about memories that you have with somebody or someone is thinking a lot about you. Okay? And it's meant to happen in order for you to release. And if you look, these are actually really happy colors, right? But the person but the purpose of it is symbolic of releasing the actual thought, right? Because this is what air. Air is not just our thought and our intellect, but our connections, right? Um, also, our recognition of the part that we play in the global collective and our global awareness, our uniqueness, right? Um, what is being released? Brings in the soulmate. Brings in somebody that you'll be comfortable with, happy with, Okay, but you're having to release. Okay, memories with something, someone. Okay, mirroring. I feel like you're encountering someone that you mirror. Some of you may play the guitar. You may be um, receiving flowers. Okay. You have the three of swords, Libra, and Saturn. So it's going to be Capricorn or Aquarius energy. The nine of pentacles here is going to be Capricorn or energy. Taurus, Libra energy. We have the four of cups, moon, and Cancer. It's going to be Pisces, Sagittarius, or Cancer, Sagittarius. All right. If you're in a relationship, you or your significant other wants to see other people outside of this relationship, right? But you guys don't because you're in the relationship. And if you're single, um, it's like you are receiving a lot of love offers, but you don't like anyone. Okay, you just you just don't like the love offer that you're receiving. Okay, you're in no rush for a relationship. Oh, with the nine of pentacles here, you're in absolutely no rush. Okay. With the three of swords here, what is coming in your future, Aries? The recognition that a relationship or a connection does not work because there's something that gets in the middle of this. Okay, it's Libra, Aquarius, and Capricorn energy. So something gets in the middle of this. It could be any relationship, connection, partnership, friendship. Uh, it could be anything. It could be a vice. It could be um, an addiction. It could be anything. But it gets in the way with the three swords. So you guys can be surgeons. Okay. Uh, cardiothoracic surgeons, but many of you are experiencing heartbreak, Aries, this does not feel good, there's a recognition that there was something or someone else that is in between this relationship, that prevents it from working out, right, and you have all these three swords in here, in your chest, right, and the nine of pentacles is here, which if you're in a relationship, you're saying that the relationship is very privileged, Okay, um, something about this is also very public with the Three of Swords. They could have been some type of cheating or something is getting, something gets in the middle of a relationship. Okay, with the Nine of Pentacles, this is also about being okay with being independent. It's the minor icon of the Empress. Okay, could be going on vacation or you may have been um, born in 12 or you may be in a state where you work when you feel like it. You don't actually have to work with the nine of pentacles. Okay, you own a business that's very successful. Okay. You may have multiplied off of the money that you're already born into. But now you recognize the cards that you have been dealt. You see what you're doing these cards? Like now you know. Okay, what you're dealing with and they're moving forward. That something does not work out with the three of swords. 
plus be like something with a heart. So I'm gonna have like a, like a heart attack or a cardiac, cardiac arrest or something like that. Someone may have heart problems, heart palpitations, heart difficulties. Okay. Um, I feel like you're not enjoying work or you're not experiencing any love or excitement from work during this time, Aries. Okay. If you look, there's like a background of different things, like different places. So it may be time to explore. Okay. This could be like exploring different avenues of work or different locations, different places, could be far away places. Um, new investments. I feel like you took off the rose colored glasses here. Do you see? In order to see what you're dealing with. And that's how you'll become abundant regarding work. You keep seeing 10 10. Okay. This is also how you become confident within yourself. All right. Um, there'll be more mastery regarding work than within yourself. And you'll be okay with being independent, even if you're not in this relationship or this connection. Remember, we come across a lot of soulmates, and some of them might just want to teach you certain things. Um, some, well, some of you, because you are experiencing this release of um, heartbreak or um, the ending of a relationship or connection, could be you going through a breakup or divorce here that's very public, right? It brings in the soulmate you're actually supposed to be with. Okay. Let's get you advice, Aries. Let's say advice for Aries, please. Advice for Aries, please. Advice for Aries. Advice for Aries, please. Alright. Okay. So you have the netcaster preparations come to fruition. So the number four. All right, you see unicorns right there, which is also talking about mating for life, connecting to someone for life, or mating or being with them for life. Someone that you can, you know, do anything that they put for you. If you're a feminine energy, okay, they would do anything for you. The things that you are investing in as well, they are now coming into fruition. It's a new beginning for you. This could be in your career, this could be in your life. I mean, your connections, your relationships, partnerships, okay. This can even be some of your new friendships, a new partner, okay, a new relationship, a new soulmate. You have the number 25. Okay. So future for Aries, please. All right. A wish today, if made by you, is almost certain to come true. A nature full of hopefulness that luck you cannot see. Your cheerfulness will win success in what you wish to be. You'll be enriched through a foreigner whom you have never seen. You will get your wish. Congratulations, Aries. If you look, it's like she can't see. Right? Because her hand is over. And this is actually missing the eyes behind has the sight. She has the sight. Hmm. This has been your reading, Aries.